Hi. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you're catching me live, you're going to see the big red live box in the upper left hand corner. That makes, that makes, um, that gives us the chat, the chance to chat right here live on Facebook. If you guys are catching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos and all the exciting things coming up in the new year. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. So in the bottom left hand corner of your mobile devices is a share button. I would love it if you would share this video. So hey guys, happy day after Christmas. Hope everyone is doing well. Would love to know what was the fa most favorite thing you enjoyed about your holiday yesterday. So when you guys come on here, if you're catching me on the replay, I'm not expecting a lot of people here today because I still know people are out celebrating with their families. But when you do watch the live, let me know what was the greatest thing that happened to you yesterday, that you did yesterday, that you got yesterday, whatever it was. I would love to know. We didn't do much. We, what, we ended up, hey Tina, how are you? We actually waited, we waited up until after um, midnight, Christmas Eve, so that it would be Christmas Day. And then we let the boys open their gifts, except the ones from like my mom and dad, because like we always call them the next morning so that they can watch on FaceTime so that since they're not here, because they have always seen my boys open their presents for Christmas. So, um, the greatest thing was just, just having them here and being with them. Although we missed our Tyler, he's still back. He's back home in PA with, you know, his, his wonderful girlfriend and ha they had their own Christmas, which is awesome. But, um, it was just nice being here as a family all together. I mean, honestly, I don't know. This year was just a little different, I think, cause we moved a little further away. So it was just nice to have everybody here. Jake's home from school, you know, it, it, like we're kind of just settled and it's not hectic. So I think that's really what, what we enjoyed most. So I would love to know, oh, and I got a new coffee pot. I did, I got a new coffee pot. Yes, so exciting. So um, it's got like the Keurig on the side and then it's got the full coffee pot. Cause I like, I love my pot of coffee in the morning and then my little Keurig. So anyway, let me know, like I said, what was it? Was there something, a great gift you got? Something you did as a family, somebody you got to see? I would love to know. But you guys, welcome, welcome to learning more about Chalk Couture. If you've ever wanted to know what this is, maybe you've heard of it. So we are a home business opportunity, but we, we have this really cool concept for home decor and crafting, and you won't find products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these really cool silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste, and then we have our Couture inks. Now we do have several surfaces like chalkboards, beautiful Odette whiteboards. We have box wood frames. We also have canvas banners and pillowcases, but this can be done on wood, glass, tin, dry erase boards, t-shirts, dish towels. You guys, Hi. they can't see you yet, babe. Hold on. You got to wait till I have you up on the screen right there. Okay. Um, you can do this on an array of surfaces, but the greatest thing that I can offer to you is this opportunity. I know it's after the holidays, you guys, but give yourself the gift of a home business opportunity for the new year. It is available in the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S., it is $99. In Canada, it is $129. I would love to help you on this journey, you guys. We have an amazing team that I would love for you to be a part of. So if you're watching this, if you connect with me, um, I have a 15 minute video I'd love for you to watch if you wanna learn more, or if you have any questions, I would love to answer those. Just give me a hashtag join below, or you're also welcome to private message me, because I know sometimes people don't like to put you know that out there, but I would love to answer Hi. those questions. There he is, there's Matthew. Hi. Tell him Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. He's He's got his little chair. He got a desk and a chair for Christmas um, to go with his computer. And he's just wheeling himself around in that chair. All right, you guys. So here we go. Let's get started so you guys can see what this is all about if you've never seen it or heard it. So first project we are going to do is something that I was super excited to do. So as a designer... Um, in leadership with Chalk Couture, they send us a beautiful card every year. And 
Long story short, because we moved and my address was like totally screwed up, forwarded here, forwarded there, um, I did not get my card until Monday. Like everybody else had gotten their card and it was just like, I was like, I called the home office. I'm like, I didn't get my card, but I always love it. So it says, you know, a year full of gratitude. And then they always send us a transfer in our card. And it is something that is not available to anybody else except for designers. And it just says, you matter so much. So it was really, really important to me um, that I want to make sure I have this on my desk. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do this on this little house. Again, you guys have seen me use these. We cut these out just out of your basic plywood. Nothing fancy. Paint it white. Sand it down. And that's how I kind of get my distressed look, you guys. I literally just, after I paint it, I let it dry. And I sand down all my corners and edges. And that kind of gives it that little bit of distressed look. So I'm just going to take this out of here. Because I do want to sit this right on my desk. We're going to do another project, but I wanted to do this one live with you just because, like I said, the company is such an amazing company to be a part of, and I'm so looking forward to 2020 that this is something I want to do and have sitting right here on my desk. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is write on the back of your transfer um, because they are reusable. You usually get anywhere from eight to 10 uses out of these. You clean them up with water when you're done. You wipe them down with a Clorox wipe, and then you let them air dry adhesive side up. Once you do that, you put them right back on these carrier sheets, and then you can use them over and over again. So I'm going to take my finger and rub it over the edge, and then I'm going to flip this over because I like to remove my carrier sheets from my transfer. Now, being this is a brand new transfer, and it is very sticky, I can't get it off my fingers off of my fingers I'm gonna get my little fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna put this right on my cloth like I said only because it's a newer transfer okay fuzzing that up now I did not wax this surface because I'm not gonna remove this I'm totally okay with it it feels nice and smooth so I didn't wax this one but I'm just gonna place this on there where I want it just want to make sure I get as much on there as I can because I know it kind of it like kind of just fits right on there just make sure I'm even okay and then all I'm gonna do hello welcome Kathleen I'm just gonna smooth this out so there's no air bubbles in the silk screen so all this area that you can see through this is all silk screen that's where the magic happens that is the beauty of our transfers. There's no weeding. There's no pulling things out or going over it again. It's all one step. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my chalk paste for this design. I'm using the color eucalyptus. Your chalk paste comes in over 38 different colors. Hey, Miss Sarah, how are you? Happy holidays. You want this to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency, you guys yogurt sour cream so if for any reason it isn't you would just add water I'm just using one of our super cute little stir sticks and I'm stirring this up just like this we're gonna do another project to you guys this is just one I wanted to share with you because I think it's so awesome that the home office sends us a card with an exclusive transfer and it just like I said it says you matter so much and I just thought it was super amazing especially for the new year coming so I just wanted to share that with you all all right so my consistency looks really good here I like when it falls right off of my stir stick back into my jar I'm gonna get my little squeegee and actually I'm gonna do this in I'm gonna do this um, the greenery and the eucalyptus and I'm actually gonna do the words in black I am I am because you matter so much I just love it I think it's so awesome such a great saying did I tell you we have leadership coming up in January um, we will be in Scottsdale Arizona for leadership and we are gonna get to see the new catalog that comes out in February you guys I am like dying and cannot wait to go to that like it's gonna be so awesome and I got stuff on my finger and it went right under my nail Ugh. 
I did. It went right under my fingernail. I hate that feeling. Do you see that? <laughs> messy, messy. All right. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my small squeegee. I'm going to dip it in my, my chalk paste, right? And then I'm going to scrape this across my silk screen, just like this. Okay. Any excess goes back in your jar. I'm going to do the bottom. Just like that. Okay, excess goes back in my jar. Now you got to remember when you're working with your chalk paste, you guys, it does dry a little quick. So you need to make sure you're paying attention to how quick you're working. You're applying pressure, getting it all in that silk screen. Okay, because you don't want it to dry in there because once it dries in there, when you go to pull up your transfer, you'll end up pulling up your chalk paste. So you just got to kind of work quick. I always like to say, know what colors you want to use before you get started. Okay, because I'm not going to want to leave this on there. All right, excess goes back in my jar. I'm going to top to bottom, left to right, never corner to corner. Oh, she's a little sticky and I fuzzed her up. Ooh. Oh, wow. That looks really, really, really good. I don't want to touch it because it's wet. It is wet. I should have fuzzed this, but it's okay. Or I should have waxed my surface. This is why you wax. I didn't think it would stick this much, but it's sticking. Okay. Ta-da! Look how awesome, you guys. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? Now I'm just going to leave this right on my desk. It's going to take a few minutes to dry, but I'm going to leave this right on my desk so that I have it in front of me all the time love that love that okay so tonight's project I'm gonna do something a little crazy so first and foremost I'm gonna make one of those cute little tag things and then we're gonna make a sign using our board and pillar okay so the first thing I want to do I don't want this I don't want this yet, is I am going to I'm obsessed with these little beads and I lost one of my there it is all right I'm obsessed with these little tags and beads, right? So I got some of these beads from my local craft store and I'm actually gonna try to paint them using the chalk paste. Okay, so they have holes on both sides. Oh, don't put that in there. So I'm just gonna try to paint two of these because it's the color I'm gonna use on the tag. So all I'm doing is getting my paintbrush, dipping it in there. and then just painting it right on there. And it's working. It's working. Yeah, that was a super sticky one, right? I was like, "Oh, that was that was a little that was a little stickier than I had expected, you guys. I'm going to be honest." Now, what I love about the chalk paste. Remember what I told you guys is it does dry quick. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am totally going to hit this with my hair dryer to dry it quickly. Just like that. If you hit anything, like, I don't mean hit it physically. Haha. <laughs> but I'm just hitting this with the hair dryer to help dry it a little bit quicker than normal. Because chalk paste does dry pretty quick, you guys. If you've ever worked with it, like I said, it dries quick. My hair dryer is on a hot setting. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. Let me see if I can get it off. Ha! Just like that. Look at that. And this is just an end of a paintbrush that it, it was able to fit into that little hole. Because it's just easier to do than me holding it with my fingers. A toothpick would work too. Like if you had a little toothpick, that would work too. This is like one of my favorite colors. So for those of you guys just coming in, make sure you say hello to me. And what I did is I was asking everybody, because I know a lot of people are probably still with families and stuff today, but um, when you come in, what was like one of your favorite holiday moments, memories, gifts that you um, got to have yesterday or the day before whenever you celebrate? I would love to know. I would love to know. All right. Look how easy that was painted that right on there with that chalk paste and now I'm drying that up. Just 
like that. Okay? So sometimes if you think outside of the box using the chalk paste, you can create things you never would have thought. Because I actually went and bought paint to do this. I'm not I'm gonna show you. Check this out, because I wanted this color. I went out and bought paint, not even thinking I could use my chalk paste. And here it is, I'm using my chalk paste and it works just perfect. All right, done with that. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for one second. Because now what I'm gonna do is, honey, can I give this to you? Can you put this in the sink for me? They need clean. Thank you. You're welcome. I forgot to get my tub of water tonight, you guys. Totally forgot my tub of water. So, my handy dandy little helper over here. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of our gift tags. And just an FYI, these gift tags, the little birdie said that they may be sticking around and there's gonna be some awesome things coming for these. So they come in a pack of six and I love these gift tags just for this reason. So first off, like I said, pack of six, they are sticking around. They're not gonna be like going away anytime soon, but I'm gonna try to distress this a little bit using our bark um, chalk paste. This is one of my favorite colors. I love bark. Okay, so brand new jar. Let's get that all stirred up because you don't want to use it like that and you want to get all those pigments blended together. Okay. Just like this. But I'm going to give it like a little bit more distressed look is what I'm going to do. Oh, I love that color. Love that color. Huh? You going to the gym? I don't know if he's going to the gym. I'm doing a live. I'm not going to the gym. Why don't you see if Jake wants to go to the gym? Okay. It's a nice consistency. I'm good with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a paper towel and I'm going to get this paper towel wet. I'm using our little spray bottle off to the side. See, I'm just getting my paper towel wet. Okay. And then I'm gonna dip my finger in there in the chalk paste, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go like this. And all I'm doing is I just wanna give this a little bit of a distressed look. Do you see that? So it's kinda of like super watered down chalk paste. And do you see how it's distressing the wood for the gift tag? That's all I wanna do. Okay, I can get a little bit more if I want to make it a little darker in some spots. Okay. Just like that. So it's entirely up to you how much or how little. And again, you just wipe off any excess you don't want. And that's just going to kind of distress it. All right, so then I'm going to take my hair dryer again and dry this up. Just like that. So all I was doing was looking to give it like a little bit more of a distressed look. Okay, so I always tend, look, these things are just rolling away. I always like to use the bark to give it that look. So it went from white like that to that. Okay. And I just want to dry it because it is chalk paste. And I did that. I don't know if you guys saw when I did my um, when I had done my Christmas trees. Let me pull it out back here. This was the Christmas tree that I had done. I did the same thing here. This is all done with bark, the bark chalk paste to give it that distress look. So just a cute little tip or trick there that you can do. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, this actually is a, I'm just using the word home. This is from the um, home is where your honey is transfer. I just want this big home to go right here. 
So I'm not going to take the whole thing off. I'm only going to take where the word home is. And I'm going to place it right on here. Just like that. And again, smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in there. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to use... Honey, what did I drop? I don't know what I dropped. I'm going to dip my squeegee in my black chalk paste and then scrape this across that silk screen. Oh my gosh, I am making a hot mess of my fingers with this black chalk paste tonight. Are you going to the gym yet? I'm feeding my doggy. Mm. My babies. He's making fun of me. Going, hot babies. mess, hot mess, hot mess. I'm babies. Okay. I do. I, I have the black all over me. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. All right. And then I'm just going to peel that up. And ta-da! Done with that one. Look how cute that is. Super cute. Super cute. And then I'm going to dry this. myself a piece of string and I'm going to stick this string through here like that and then here's going to be the tricky part is getting my string through those little holes both pieces you guys know I'm not good at this all right let me get a little Get a little piece of tape here for the end. I think the last time I did this, it took me forever because I couldn't get my ends together good enough. So I always like to tape my ends. You could also use um, hot glue your ends and then you know cut it off when you're done. Just makes it easier to pull them through when you do this. Okay. One. Two. And three. Thanks, Tammy. So I've got one of those cute little tags. I could add some more if I wanted to. I could probably add one more. I don't know if I'll leave it on there. But then you've got those cute little tags that you're seeing all over the place in the home stores. These are everywhere. They're on they're on Pinterest, everything. So I'm going to set this aside because I'm still going to use that for later. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to attach this. So you know what? Let me cut this off. Just like that. These cute little tags like I made for the tree. Never seen it before. It's because you don't go to Hobby Lobby. Oh, that place is the devil. No, it isn't. Do you hear him? <laughs> Do you hear him? Don't listen to him. Okay. Hobby Lobby spelled backwards is worship the devil. Hi, don't listen to him. Don't he just he's not being nice. He hates when I go there. So I've got that little tag right there that's just gonna sit off of my stand. Okay. And then for this design, we are going to use these two cute little transfers. So this one is our faith, love, and hope trio. And this one is the Garden Garlands, okay? I, I don't think I mentioned this, but there are directions on the back of all of our transfers. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, don't listen to him, Melissa. You see, do you see? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tammy. Um, but it tells you how to peel, prep, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set. That's only if you're using ink, and then clean up. Because remember, these are all reusable, so we could use them again and again on different designs, different surfaces. All right, so let me get these out of there. He's still talking about Hobby Lobby. I might just have to go tomorrow. Ooh, that's all right. I just have to go tomorrow. 
you know, Palmetto Armory is right down the road. I know. Matter of fact, it's right next door to the gym. Yeah, you should take your son. That's what you should do. I would melt all the credit cards. <laughs> They're already melted. All right, you guys, there are cut lines in these transfers. Melissa says she gets told the same thing. <laughs> there are cut lines right in these transfers, so you know exactly where to cut them. So we're going to do this cute little wreath, and then we're going to put the word hope right inside to go with our cute little tag on this board and pillar. And what's really nice about the board and pillar, you guys, I don't know if, you, if I mentioned this, there are holes in the back. So this can be done vertical, this can go vertical, or it can go horizontal, either way. And it does come with a little pin that'll stay right in there so it holds it right in place. I love these board and pillars. So again, we want to write on the back, this is the circle. Oh my gosh, B-A-C-K. And then this is hope. Okay, because remember, we're, we're using these transfers. We need to make sure we put our carrier sheets back on in the right position. Okay, so taking my finger, rubbing, rubbing it over the edge to get it started. Find a side that works great for you. Flip it over. Remove your carrier sheet. Now, if you do forget to write on the back, no problem. There is a shiny side, and then there is the matte side. The shiny side, I don't know, see that, is the side that your transfer will always go back on. So I am gonna fuzz this one up as well with our amazing fuzzing cloth. And by the way, I love our fuzzing cloths. They are great for cleaning, they're great for fuzzing. They also go right in the washer and dryer when you are done with them if you need to. Okay, so I'm just fuzzing that up. I'm gonna take this and place it right where I want it on my surface. And remember all different types of surfaces, wood, tin, glass, dry erase board, you can do t-shirts and dish towels, so there are a lot of things you can create on different surfaces with our products. And I am telling you, DIY is a really, really hot trend. Isn't this cute? Or do you mean the board and base? Yeah, or the board and pillar. I love the board and pillar. All right, so I've got that down. I am actually gonna do, I'm thinking I might mix this. I'm gonna do a little dark pesto with the eucalyptus. Like I'm gonna do two colors in this to kind of give it just a little more definition. So I'm gonna kind of do, I think they call this a hot mess technique, if I'm not mistaken. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna dab this color right on there, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna take my eucalyptus Dab it on. Love okay. you, bye. bye. He's going to the gym, you guys. Go into the gym. I'll just use the squeegee. So then I'm going to take my squeegee and just scrape it across that silk screen area, you guys. Scrape it across that silk screen area. So it's kind of blending the colors together. But they kind of they call it a hot mess because you can see it's kind of messy and then you're not going to put this back in any jar obviously because the excess is blended colors right now i did go outside of my lines i'm okay with it oh that turned out awesome i love it oh yeah wow you guys i don't know if you can see the different colors that looks great do you see that that looks so good. Look how nice that looks. Oh my gosh, Tammy, that is so awesome. That's every time I show my husband after I get done creating, like I did um, that buffalo the other night and he was like, you just did that? I'm like, yep. And it's been two years. I've been doing this two years and he still does that. So I did make a little bit of a mess. I went off of my design. So all I'm doing is just cleaning this up with a Clorox wipe, a Q-tip would work fine too. So it's all good to go. Tammy, if you have any questions, I would love to answer those for you. You let me know. So I'm gonna dry this up. Just like 
like that. And the reason I'm drawing it is because I, I'm going to be laying another transfer in here. And I don't want, I want my uh, bottom layer to be dry. Valerie, this is still available. So it is the Faith, Hope, Love Trio. And then that one is the Garden Garlands. I use pesto and eucalyptus for this. Yes, absolutely. It is available right online if you want to check it out. All right, so then I'm going to use the word hope. So again, I'm just taking my finger, rubbing it on the edge and flipping it over. I'm going to fuzz it up. Eucalyptus is like one of my favorite colors. So, but the wreath is, it's in, I, it's so, you can't see, look how good that looks. That looks so, so good, you guys. So good. Love that. Okay, so fuzz that up. I'm going to put this right in the center. I hope I get it in the center. I'm going to try my best. Okay. Now, here's a tip. All this green outside here, you guys, you don't have to press that down. Only press down where you're going to need to, right in here right around your word. Don't worry about this excess green. And I am going to use this color right here. It is called Gringe. Gr Gringe. It, it's a gray to me. I don't, huh? It's not the Grinch, honey. No, it's like, a, it's like sort of like a, it's a very light gray. I am not the Grinch. Quit calling me Grinch. He's calling me the Grinch. Okay, you guys, I can't get my stir stick out. All right, so again, oh, this one's a little bit thicker. Do you see that? So it's a brand new chalk paste, but it's a little bit thicker. So I need to work this out. Okay. I want to make sure I get all those pigments blending together. And actually, you know what? I am going to use, I am going to use a multi-tool. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Like I said, your chalk paste, you want it to be a yogurt sour cream consistency. So if you get it and it's a little bit thicker, all you do is you start to stir it up and you just add water. Okay? Mm, so let's do this. No one has told me anything about their holiday. What was your favorite, favorite part of your holiday? Was it a gift? Was it somebody you got to see? I would love to know. Wow, I take forever stirring up my chalk paste. Sorry, you guys. This one's a little bit thicker than I am used to. So I'm going to have to get this going. It's coming along. Do, do, do. A little bit more. And these are our spray bottles, by the way, and I'm stirring this with the multi-purpose tool. I love our multi-purpose tool because, number one, it cleans up your jars, the edges of your jars. Number two, it's a great stir stick. It is an amazing stir stick. And it's also great when you've got it like chalk in small areas. Okay, there we go. It's coming together. It's coming together. Just going to take me a little bit of time there. Boy, it's still really, really thick, though. Really thick. There we go. I don't want it to come flying out of my jar. All right. We're getting there, you guys. We are getting there. Christmas is so hard for some people. I agree. I agree, Kathleen. 100%. If you were missing a loved one, I, I totally understand. All right, so we've got that. Sometimes it's just about what it's really about. What you believe in, remembering the loved ones, giving hope. Giving back is always a great thing, too, for the holidays. 
So I, I agree with you. All right. So we're going to take our little squeegee. This is our small squeegee. Dip it right in there. And then scrape it across that silk screen. Just like that. Okay, excess is going to go back in my jar. Right back, right in the jar. I'm going to peel up my transfer left to right on this one. Ta da! Look how awesome that turned out. Look at that. I love it. Oh, that's so awesome, Tammy. Were they the ones that are like scented? Did they give you the scented ones, the scented ornaments? We made them last year. That was so awesome. So this, you guys, is going to go right here, just like this. And I've got my cute little tag that I made. I don't have my pin. You would stick your pin right in there. And then this is going to sit right on your entryway, your coffee table, wherever you'd like, in the corner somewhere to display in your kitchen. But look how cute that turned out. And remember, I painted these using our chalk paste. I distressed it using the bark. Um, this is our gift tags that are awesome and sitting around. Use our black chalk paste, pesto, eucalyptus, and that Gringe. Gringe, I can't, I don't know what it's, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. But super, super cute, you guys. Check it out. That turned out so good. I love it. Do you guys love it? Oh my gosh. And then our cute little house that I made using the transfer that we got from the home office. So easy peasy DIY home decor, you guys. Anybody can do this. I promise you anyone can do this. Again, if you're looking for a really fun home business opportunity, you can be a designer like myself. We have a lot of great things going on in our team. Thank you so much, Amy. And then any questions you have about the products, about the company, you guys, please feel free to ask me. I'd love to answer those for you. And don't forget, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. I would love it if you'd share this video. And you guys, if you're interested, I do have a really fun sale. Not really a sale. It's a special that I'm offering in my VIP group. As long as you are not a designer, I would love to add you to my VIP group. Just give me a hashtag VIP below for some really fun things going on in the new year. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Kathleen. I hope you guys have a great rest of your, great rest of your evening. And I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby to get some fun stuff to do for Valentine's Day. So I will be talking with you soon, you guys. Have a good evening.